Hello students, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about eagle view versus mouse view. So I know that we've been working on organic synthesis um, and as you're working through the organic synthesis exercises, uh, my sense is that some of you are uh, much more in the mode of a mouse scurrying through a field and some of you are more in the mode of an eagle soaring over the field. So let me explain what I mean by that. If you imagine um, there's a, a corn field and you're a little teeny mouse and you're working your way through the corn, right? And mouses are little teeny and they can only see literally what's right in front of them, right? And they're also, uh, they have a very detailed view of the stuff that is very close by. As an example, if we were to think about propanol and think about what is the mouse view of propanol, the mouse view of propanol is, well, I know that this is the three carbon uh, alcohol it's a primary alcohol if I'm talking about uh, the one isomer. And I know what I can do with this. If I add, for example, hydrochloric acid, HCl, I can convert this into one chloropropane. If I add instead HBr, I can convert that into one bromopropane. If I add, for example, PCC, I can convert this into propanal, the aldehyde. All right, so I'm, I have this really sort of close up and detailed view of all the things I can do with this specific alcohol. So when you're moving from uh, reaction to reaction in your organic synthesis, the mouse view is always thinking about like, what are the exact precise details I need to move it to the next thing? In contrast, if you think about sort of an eagle view of the same cornfield, the eagle doesn't necessarily see all of this uh, detail way down deep in the weeds as it were. The eagle is sort of soaring above, right? So the eagle might see sort of general landscapes, might see the tree, might see the path, maybe see some rustling down there and it's like, oh, maybe, maybe there's a mouse down there. But the eagle can't see all those details. What the eagle is good at seeing is the big broad relationships between the different um, things. So in organic synthesis, the eagle view might look something like this. You might think about sort of alcohols as a group and how are they connected to, for example, haloalkanes. Right. So here's a case where oftentimes if you're talking about primary or secondary alcohols and haloalkanes, you can interconvert them using SN2. Or you might think about acids, right? If your alcohol is primary, you can convert it to an acid using oxidation and back with reduction, right? If you have both an alcohol and an acid, guess what? What functional group is connected to both alcohols and acids? The ester, right? If you have both alcohols and haloalkanes, those are connected to ethers. In a diagram like this, you don't necessarily see all of the detail, but it does give you a sense, for example, of, okay, I have an acid, I want to get to a haloalkane, how do I do that? Or, I have an ether, but really I want to make an ester, how do I do that, right? And so to think about sort of the relationships and the pathways in between these things. I'm not here to tell you that one of these views is better or that the other view is worse. What I'm here to tell you is that actually both views can be important, right? And if you're right now primarily in mouse view mode, I would like to encourage you to think more like an eagle, right? Plot that out. You might in fact think about trying to create a big master map of all the different organic reactions. I have uh, made myself in about five minutes a little map of reactions. I'm actually not very proud of this one. Uh, I just dashed it off super quick. You can find it on the Power School. I would encourage all of you to make your own version. I'm pretty sure that your version will be better than this version, right? So if you're mostly in mouse view, I want you to think more like an eagle. Those of you who are actually pretty comfortable with eagle view, I would like for you to consider spending a little bit more time thinking about mouse view. Right? So eagle view people are people who like get the big idea, but they forgot to add the catalyst, right? Or they forgot 
uh, one step in the reaction, or they forgot uh, that this reagent only works with things that are tertiary and not primary, right? So if you're already comfortable with the eagle view, spend a little bit more time thinking like a mouse, right? By the time you're an expert at organic synthesis, uh, you'll be pretty darn good at both of these views. So have fun with that. Uh, practice up and good luck.